A fake media release is making rounds on social media alleging that NASVAP has lost $4.1 billion meant to fund students. It further alleges that no payments will be processed until the money is recovered. Joining us in the studio to give us the facts is NASVAP's acting CEO, Kennedy Kandume. Very good evening to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, John. Yeah. Let's perhaps start with the, what is the current state of affairs as far as the payments are concerned? Uh, Jonas, before I give the, the status of affairs of payment, let me just uh, talk to the fake news. Actually, this is not only fake news, but actually disinformation. For it is intended to, to cause harm to, to NASFA as an institution. It's, that's not truth on it. Just somebody there maliciously creating this, this news and disinforming the, the nation. On the state of affairs of payment, um, let me start with... Um, processing and payment of, of tuition fee. So far, for strategic reason, we have processed and made actual payment of tuition fee. All institutions have received their tuition fee, with exception of few students here and there where there might be an issue with, um, with invoice, and therefore the validation and verification of those invoices for those particular students is ongoing. Um, otherwise, I can confidently say that the tuition fee for, for students are paid because we do not want students to, to, to have issues with attending classes, with issues of um, writing, with writing exam, mm -hmm. uh, as we know that they are, they are writing exam now. With non-tuition fee, we announced um, a few weeks back that on the 21st of October, we are going to start with the processing and payment of, uh, of, of non-tuition fee. And indeed, we have done that. As we speak, quite a number of students have received their non-tuition fee, and we continue processing non-tuition fee on a daily basis. So in other words, uh, NASA has enough money in the coffers to cater for all the beneficiaries that need to, to get their things sorted out financially? I think what should be understood is the fact that um, we rely on the Treasury in terms of um, funding. Treasury release fund on batches for cash flow management purpose. And as we, as, and as we are receiving our benches from our tra our trenches from Treasury, we then distribute that money to, 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 to students. It's not that students are going to or receive their funding at once or they are going to get it once. One for internal control purposes as well. We, uh, we, also, we process payment in benches and we, we pay up to uh, over 1,500 students per day. And the good thing about this is that this is really time or, or nearly little time. We're using Bank Venduk platform and as we receive, uh, as we process uh, these benches, the students should be able to receive their, their fund Really life. I understand that there are those that um, were wanting to go and camp at Bank Venduk uh, for the misunderstanding that Bank Venduk is actually keeping their money. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Money is has uh, been released by Bank, Bank Venduk as we are processed. We have a client relationship with, with the bank and we instruct them who to pay and who or which money to, to release. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, now, this is not the first time that NASFAF has been caught off guard by this fake news and you know, misinformation, as you call it, uh, to the public. What, what future plans do you have in place to avoid such instances? As you can see, it has caused so much chaos amongst uh, the beneficiaries and also members of the public, and also, of course, bringing NASFAF's reputation into disrepute. What, what do you have in, 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 in the pipeline to, to ensure that this doesn't happen again? You know, Jonas, we are dealing with, um, with young people. Our stakeholders and clientele base is, is young people, very creative. Somebody can just wake up and uh, create something that is totally out of control. The only problem is that they are using their creativity to, to harm the institution. Uh, one would want to, to see them using their creativity, whether it's as far as information technology is concerned, to come up with something else rather than creating this fake news. Sometimes we'll find nobody's going to be paid or this and that has been lost and so forth. And on top of that, I think there are quite a number of um, the youth who are aspiring to become politicians and they are using NASFAF as their political ball game. Sometimes they also come up and with this fake news or also this thing of um, 
wanting really to mobilize students for, for nothing, actually. Right now, students are writing exams. One who really want to breathe for them to leave the student to write exam. They are money uh, who will be coming, they will be paid. Okay, mm. Kandumi, it's been a great pleasure talking to you, and I wish you and the rest of your team all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That was the NASA's acting CEO, Kennedy Kandume, also just shedding light on the fake media release making rounds on social media, alleging that some money has been lost, but also reassuring students that they will get their money. They just need to be more patient.